To all my fellow New Yorkers, the Democrats are attacking our energy choices with mandates, not goals. Telling our residents that they cannot have natural gas or propane in their homes and buildings. Now they are working to end the 100-foot rule with the New York Heat Act mandate. And again, mandate, end all mandates. That means the utilities won't be able to put in the needed natural gas lines for businesses or our homes free of charge to allow New Yorkers to choose to utilize natural gas and to convert from oil to clean, burning natural gas. The cost of connecting will be borne by the customer and it is too costly and the homeowner and businesses will not be able to afford the construction cost. This is a total attack on all New Yorkers. As I've said repeatedly, we need a plan, not a ban. This ill-conceived ban was in the Senate budget resolution last week, and the Senate passed it again yesterday, with our members standing strong in opposition. And there was a couple of members also on the other side that voted no. During yesterday's vote, I was proud to join my Senate Republican Conference colleagues to debate the sponsor to fight our residents for our residents. We need to stop this today. <clears throat> it should not be in the budget, and I urge the governor and the assembly to protect our ratepayers and workers. That is simply too costly for our homeowners and businesses. This is one more step in the war on fuel choices. This will cost our residents too much and cost our workers their jobs. The governor's budget in 2023 states that New York State, by 2025, no natural gas or propane will be allowed six-story buildings and under and residential homes. By 2029, you won't be able to buy gas appliances, including gas boilers, to replace. Appliance stores will not be able to sell these appliances or boilers at plumbing supply stores. Surrounding states will be able to won't will be able to supply it. This will force our New Yorkers and thousands of jobs in the plumbing industry and local stores. Is that fair to all New Yorkers that we're gonna have our residents have to go across the border to go purchase all these items and then bring them back? And then we can't even have our contractors install them because they won't allow them to do it? That is losing jobs. With this New York State Act, Act and the governor's efforts, the job losses with union utility workers, plumbers, pipe fitters, laborers, and contractors, union and non-union world, which is hard for me to say sometimes, but still it's, <laughs> it's jobs. By most estimates, the lost careers will be 30% and a lot more, which I know my good friend will be talking about that. And when we hear from the other side, you know what they say? That's the cost of doing business. How, how is that being fair? When I know the person that sponsored this bill does not even have an electric car or the building that she lives in is ran on fossil fuels. This is totally unacceptable. In my union career, I created jobs. I never worked or accepted anybody losing their jobs and their livelihoods. Approximately 50% of electric comes from transmission lines from other states. The Democrats never talk about that or have an answer when my colleagues and I ask that question. In fact, they never will answer it because we all know it, what the real answer is. We need to cut off those, those out-of-state transmission lines. We need to make sure that, again, those lines are coming from us. They rely on fossil fuels and we become more self-sufficient and self-reliant. We need to be self-efficient, self-reliant in New York State and not rely on other states. That will protect our residents and our environment and that is something our conference cares about doing right. I held a hydrogen tour this past fall at Stony Brook University and Brookhaven National Lab to find answers that will accomplish our goals without harming our residents and our workers. We need to invest our time and money in researching other forms of renewable energy, like green hydrogen, geothermal, thermal network, sewage heat recovery expansion, retool our existing power plants, carbon capture, nuclear, very, very important. 
These are good investments in our renewable energy needs that will protect workers' careers and not put an unnecessary burden on our ratepayers and their families. As I've been saying, wind, solar, battery storage is not good enough to solve our energy needs. Battery storage is nothing but an experiment. As we have seen battery storage fires is a danger that we do not have enough to know about to bet on our future. Now companies are leaving, and you with huge losses, by the way. This is another cost to all New Yorkers, because we will be paying for this. All ratepayers will be paying for this experiment. They are going to throw it back onto all of us.